Welcome to FIFA 19 for match day 31 of the Premier League with a do or die fixture for Man United against rivals Manchester City. If United want to win the title, they must win this match. It's a closed first half with only two chances. Alexis Sanchez hits the bar and after 39 minutes Romelu Lukaku sets up his fellow Belgian Marwan Fellaini who puts the ball into the left corner, showing skills he barely knew were inside of him. Right before the break, Sergio Aguero finds Leroy Sané, who crosses it for Kevin De Bruyne, and he heads it in. But the referee blows his whistle and disallows the goal for offside. It's an extremely close call, but it is a correct one. City let loose on United after the break, David Silva is sent into the box and beats De Gea, even though De Gea's corner was well covered, one all. We're an hour underway and it's time for some shots from distance, Lukaku is denied by Ederson from the edge of the box. Four minutes later, Man City attack again, Sané has a lot of space, but De Gea stops him. Five minutes after that, Phil Foden gets the ball, a pass to Aguero onto Sané, but the ball rolls just wide. United cannot get possession and Phil Foden squirms himself past Pogba to put it in via the crossbar. Foden replaced David Silva and scores the goal that might be the most important one of the season. But United will be damned if they allow City to get three points. Pogba with a rocket, saved. Goalkeeper Ederson is playing his best game of the season, but Lukaku gets an ultimate chance and draws level. A very tight game, hard to say who is the better team this year, but the gap between both sides remains the same. United 2, City 2. So Liverpool have a chance to jump to first place, but Fulham beat Arsenal and Man United at Craven Cottage. Fosu Mensa clears the ball off the line. Alfie Mawson gives it to Stefan Johansson, Seri finds Mitrovic, but Alisson saves. Fulham's intentions are clear, they want Liverpool's head. Johansson to Kearney, denied again. But Liverpool's attacking trio is maybe the best one in the world, Firmino 1-0. It was Firmino's 12th goal, but short-lived joy for the Reds, cause Joe Bryan makes it one all. Liverpool stormed the gates of Fulham after that, but Mo Salah is stopped by Bettinelli. And also the next chance is for the visitors, Mo Salah again, but this time he hits the side net. In the end, Liverpool are grateful with a point, because Alexander Mitrovic barely misses the winning goal, one all. Maybe Chelsea can get closer to Man City and Liverpool, but they go behind against Everton with a goal from Bernard. Chelsea struggle to get a grip on the game and undergo Everton's rule. Cross from Walcott, 19th goal for Richarlison. Chelsea are 2-0 behind but find a solution with long balls. Eden Hazard with space for a cross and Alvaro Morata heads it in. A strong determined jump and finish from Alvaro Morata, 2-1. Everton need to get another one if they want to win, but Cenk Tosu misses, and that spells trouble. Alonso is blocked. The ball comes to Hazard, but he puts it wide. Nine minutes left for Chelsea if they want to get back into the game. Marcos Alonso to Hazard, blocked by Pickford, but Morata also misses. Pickford is trying to keep the equalizer out of his net and comes face to face with Hazard again and denies the Belgian again. Frustrating. But in the last minute of the game, Chelsea get everyone forward for a corner kick. Gary Cahill gets the ball in two attempts and the second one is golden. A two-all draw and a point for both teams. The top three has a status quo on match day 31. Tottenham are one of the teams that have the chance to profit from the situation and Vincent Janssen sets up Christian Eriksen for the 1-0 against Crystal Palace. Dele Alli sees Eric Dyer into Vincent Janssen but he is stopped by Hennessy and Eriksen hits the post. Dyer again to Janssen who lifts it to Eriksen 
and the Dane scores an amazing goal once more. A great example of balance, control and skill. Harry Kane comes on to replace Vincent Janssen and is launched into the space with 6 minutes left, 3-0 and Kane's 22nd goal of the season. Kane scored one goal less than Aubameyang, but it's Mesut Ozil who draws first blood against Wolves, a team that beat Arsenal 3-0 in the first round with a hat-trick from Helder Costa. And guess who opens the score for Wolves today at the Molyneux Stadium? His name is Helder Costa. And with a little bit of luck, Costa even gets a second one. Adama's shot is blocked and Costa turns it in. What a good season he is having. Arsenal do not want to lose points but need to go for one point at least. And in the end they are happy to get that vital equalizer. Lacazette finds the space and puts it beyond Rui Patricio. Two wall, not bad for Arsenal but not good either. Burnley host Leicester City and need a win to be safe from the relegation battle but James Madison scores the first goal of the match. Matej Vidra makes it one all for Burnley but all three points go to the Midlands because Ndidi scores the winning goal for the Foxes. Watford are heading towards safety certainly if they can beat bottom of the league Southampton. Andre Gray makes it 1-0 right after kickoff with a powerful header to beat Alex McCarthy. And Daryl Janmaat offers Gray his 17th goal of the season. Troy Deeney has 11 goals so far and puts his 12th away for a 3-0 lead. But Ben Foster feels like giving some gifts to Southampton. Heubjerg puts in the 3-1 and 20 minutes before the end Lamina scores after good build-up play. 3-2. And you wouldn't believe it, but Ben Foster doesn't see Mario Lamina between his two defenders and the Dutchman ships it in fantastically. A nice point for the Saints, 3 all in the end. West Ham have been playing better lately, but come across Huddersfield today. Pritchard makes it 1-0 because the Terriers were flying the past weeks. And flying is also a nice word to describe Arnautovic's goal. Number 14 for him, he should play for one of the big six teams. But Huddersfield still have a taste for victory. Ramadan Sobi serves the Poitre 2-1. And to make it unforgettable for the Terriers, the Egyptian scores the 3-1 himself. That's 10 points in the last 5 games for Huddersfield. The great escape, they call it. Bournemouth need goals for a great escape. Callum Wilson scores the 1-0 against Newcastle. But defending is not their strong point. Ayose Perez with a 1-2 with Jotelu. 1-0 Perez. Corner kick for the home team. 2-1 David Brooks. But again they concede. This time it's Sung Yoon Ki who equalizes for Newcastle. And the Geordies see a great opportunity to get a win. Tross comes in and Diame scores the 3-2. Begovic cannot believe what he sees. Rondon 4-2. The Cherries want to reach a 4-all draw and Taylor gets the 4-3. Nice goal. But Newcastle don't let this one slip anymore. Joselu 5-3 and 3 points. And finally, Brighton must win against Cardiff City. Glenn Murray does whatever he can. He is denied once, but manages to score from his next chance. Stunning kick. Cardiff exploit their 4-3-3 system to the fullest. Kenneth Sohor won all. Anthony Knockard sets up Glenn Murray. 2-1 for Brighton. But again, Cardiff find the flaws in Brighton's defense. 2 all via Ward. Corner kick for the visitors. The ball comes in and Sean Morrison heads in the 3-2. And we're not done yet. Bobby Reed with a run. And a good cross to Kenneth Sohor. 4-2 for Cardiff. Who smells safety? Because Brighton can only score one more via Dale Stevens. That means that the bottom three are four points away from 17th place at least. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.